We have got classic popcorn and chill. Popcorn and chill video while I tell you about what I've been watching. Really. All pretty much recommended. I've had a good, you know, watch history for the last couple weeks. So, sorry if some of these overlap my last what I've been watching video that just means I'm still watching them and it means I forgot <laughs> so we'll do the first ones we'll kind of just gloss over the first couple but before we get into it you know what we gotta do channel maintenance channel hygiene gotta take care of the channel so if you're new here welcome my dogs if you're old here welcome back oh jeez if you're new here please consider it the notification bell as always i'll link my tip jars down yonder in the description box no pressure whatsoever but every dollar or two helps that's what allows me to continue to make content 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 also you are invited to my patreon i know not everybody can come but you can't say you weren't invited there's some good story times over there some insider knowledge okay It is like six in the morning and I'm eating popcorn. I will have to have a real breakfast after this because I still got to go to work. And I'm working at um, an alternative school today, so hopefully it's not too crazy, right? Sometimes they're not. Sometimes they're they're way easier than uh than um you know baseline schools. Okay. Killers of the flower moon. Oof. Okay. Oof. It was good. But it was so long and it was a slow slow burn. Slow burn. So I had to multitask. I mean, that's just me, and that's how a play has got to be. I had to multitask. Um, acting was great. You know, it's a it was a Scorsese. Uh, but it was it was like three plus hours. I think I didn't even finish it. I ended up going up to bed, and then the next day I just had to ask my husband like. I did the same thing with the book. I started the book. I didn't have to, and I didn't feel like it was bad. I just, it was just a slow burn and I struggle. I had messaged my brother. I was like, did you watch? Cause he's reading a book with a similar title. He likes historical pieces. And I said, well, did you read or watch Killers of the Flower Moon? He's like, I'm not jumping on it. Um, he's like, I'm not jumping on it because the Irishman was kind of slow and not, not the best. And I was like, oh my God, you're right. I forgot about the Irishman. Same, same kind of like team, you know? So I think if you can en enjoy a slow burn, you'd love it. And it's based on a true story. Humans are horrible. Humans are horrible. Okay. A simple plan. Old movie. I've showed you guys the book before, I believe. A simple plan by Scott Smith. Um, one of my favorite books of all time. If you are looking to just get into reading, you haven't read in a while, you don't really know what you like not something that will hold your attention but it's not too like too chaotic or there's not too many storylines going on or anything like not, not dual timeline Scott Smith a simple plan now the movie Bill Paxton Billy Bob Thornton main characters it's 
free on YouTube, I believe. It is about two brothers that stumble upon, well, two brothers and a friend. They're like midlife. Um, they stumble upon this broke down plane in the woods. Like, what the hell is this? So I look inside and there's cash. Cold, hard cash. And they're all struggling. So it like takes place in a little little town. The worst thing that can happen is that you stumble upon this money with somebody else. You cannot expect three people to act right and to not flaunt and to not tell the wrong people. So of course chaos ensues, you know? Now this movie is pretty old. It's a little cheesy. Watching Billy Bob act in it is a little bit... Watching Billy Bob act... I love Billy Bob. Watching Billy Bob act sometimes is like, oh, Billy. <laughs> My son looks like Billy Bob Thornton right now. Because he got like his first haircut and it's really short. <laughs> he definitely looks like Billy Bob Thornton right now. I can't. I can't take him seriously. An American Nightmare on Netflix. Oh, God, I don't even remember now. It's the same as the Tinder Swindler. It's like the same kind of series as that. Okay, so it's about a, a woman. The first episode you're watching it, she claims she had got kidnapped. Her and her boyfriend claim that she had got kidnapped. And you watch the first episode and you're like, this does seem weird. Like, it does seem odd. You th it, they kind of make it look like she's lying in the first episode. But as you watch, you learn more. It's okay. If you have nothing else to watch and you like true, kind of true crime, it's true crime, um, give it a try. Netflix. On Apple TV, the last thing he told me thing he told me. Jennifer Garner. Based on a book. I did not read the book. But it is based on a book. Jennifer Garner lives in like a boathouse or something. That's pretty cool. And I love Jennifer Garner. I think she's adorable. But she does kind of have like that Carrie Washington thing. And the Sydney Sweeney thing where they keep making the same face a lot. Like their acting face. She's married to this guy. He's kind of like a prestigious something or other. And he goes missing. And so sure, and he leaves his stepdaughter behind. So, and she's a teenager. And teenage attitude and all that. So Jennifer Garner's like, look, I don't know where your dad is. I think something bad happened to him. I'll figure this out for you. I'll keep you safe. And but and they go out trying to figure out what could have happened to him. And pretty good. Pretty good. Oh my god, Griselda. Netflix. Have you guys watched Griselda yet? Okay. If you don't know who Griselda is, she's the godmother. She was like a kingpin. Queenpin? Just queenpin. Um, smuggler, dealer, all that. She really existed. Sofia Vergara plays her. And it goes all the way back to like how she got started. Essentially, she was married and had like three kids with somebody that was in the business and she was helping him too for like another kingpin. But when that all started to like unravel and her and her husband split up, she took the reins and like made a, made a way for herself, made herself a big name in the game. I think that Sophia nailed the role. Okay. They don't look anything alike. They kind of made her look, I guess maybe a little bit like, but it, it no. Um, 
but like towards the end, oof, the episode where Griselda starts smoking. Because you got to think, back then, when I first hit the streets, they just thought it was another way to intake, which everybody had already been doing. Okay? So people are like, oh, do it this way. They're like, okay. Terrible, right? Not the same as somebody picking it up today and doing it. Like, you know, you've seen what that does. Okay? So back then it was just like, oh, it's just another way to do this we've already been doing the episode where she tries it and her whole relationship her whole livelihood her whole everything just spirals out the very first time she tries it and I don't know if um, that's the real situation what happened in her life or not but that episode is such a cautionary tale like, do not mess with that. So I guess that's kind of a spoiler. But her story's been out for, there's been a million, not a million, but there's been like 10 documentaries on this already. Uh, the part that I wish they got to, and they didn't, and I don't think there's supposed to be a second season, was... She ends up dating, like, a really young guy <laughs> in real life. They're an odd couple, and I wish that they would have got to that part in the show. Because I think she was, like, nuts for him. Like, nuts. And I just wanted to see that acted out. Went back. And watched Graceland again. Do not know. What would I watch? Oh, Hulu. It's on Hulu now. It used to be on Netflix. Every few years, I get the itch to watch Graceland from start to finish, from tip to tail. And my husband has never seen it. So I was like, oh, you're in for a treat. Put on Graceland. And it only takes, like, usually my husband is like, I don't know if I'll, and then, like, two episodes in, he's like, ooh, this is good. Let's keep watching. It is about these undercover, uh, a beach house of undercover narcotics agents in California. Season one's California. So they're just supposed to be like out on the street getting intel and stuff and setting up bust. But narcotics officers like they get they get in too deep or they get themselves in jams or they have to go save each other and they're constantly having to you know solve these whatever comes up as your narcotics officer uh, it's got a really good cast and actually the reason that I wanted to watch Graceland again is because I was watching Reacher when Reacher for season 2 Reacher came out on Amazon Prime, and one of the girls from Graceland was in there, and I hadn't seen her since Graceland. I was like, oh, and then I was watching Griselda, and then the other girl from Graceland was in it. I was like, this is my sign. It's time to start Graceland again. So we watched, it's three seasons. We watched it in a week, a freaking week. We've done nothing else, obviously, for a whole week, but work and watch Graceland. I watched one episode of Lover, Stalker, Killer. I think that's the name of it. Love, Lover, Stalker, Killer. On Netflix. Classic tales of messed up people. Messed up people. How do you let yourself get to that? Well, it's mental. It's mental illness. I know that. Like, the very first episode, the woman did have a diagnosis. But the amount of stalking and crazy stuff that is allowed, like, people call the authorities, like, this just happened. And they're like, well, there's nothing we can do about it. The amount of there's nothing we can do about that, that enables, is nuts. Is not. I don't care who that offends. The level, if you are a habitual liar or 
your your record shows that you had how many restraining orders and you're just allowed to go out and meet people still what um this should be like you should have to get help after more than one person claim it shouldn't even take more than one person like investigate this this is not okay like this first lady she's out there burning people's houses down you know harassing them at work at home finding his ex uh just hanging out finding they one of the people left the state and she was able to find them like it's what and how do you have the time and resources to be like that's what you do with your life who's funding this activity is weird also we're about halfway into true detective season four two female leads on this one it will never top season three season three is like i love Mahersha ali but it's good it's really good i think it's probably i don't know i'm gonna wait till i finish it to place it in my order of true detective favorite seasons i can tell you right now true detective season two is still at the bottom um it takes place in alaska and it got me on this whole alaska tangent this whole alaska something it takes place in alaska and i won't tell you too much but something happens and then something else happens <laughs> bunch of people go missing and I don't want to spoil it um so they're searching for them but meanwhile there's like all this other weird stuff happening in the town then it got me on this Alaska tangent and I rented a book called city under one roof because that was Alaska based and it's about literally in Alaska they have a big building and it's like a city like it just makes more sense you know to make a big building heat that one building and they all live under one roof so it's a thriller and i had been watching some wintery type things on youtube and up pop up pops like finally the, the youtube algorithm was working up pops this video about a build the city under one roof it's not about the book but it's about the book must be about it you know and so i was watching that and it, there's just like in the book there's only one way to get to this building it's a tunnel so if anything happens to that tunnel and it has in the past you are stuck you are stuck in your building you cannot get out to civilization i don't know if i could live it seems so convenient like you just go downstairs and, and you go to work but how many jobs can they possibly have in the building i'm sure a lot of those jobs are out in the cold right but in the building they have like people that cut hair you know bartenders servers stuff like that like in the book i'm reading one of the girls she her and her mom run like a little restaurant down there i don't know So yeah, True Detective, season four, Jodie Foster. I can't remember the other woman's name. But lots of good winter vibes. Okay. I gotta feed the dogs, let them out. I finish doing everything I need to do to make it to work on time today. But if you watch this all the way to the end, let me know what you're watching. Thank you very much. I hope that you have a good